Last time you were here, we were talking about how a couple of years ago, Matt Argersinger went to CES and was struck by how many 3D printing companies there were, and, and he just sort of shook his head and thought, this is this is not going to end well for the vast majority of these companies. Yep. And there weren't many this year. <laughs> so, what's what's this year's version of 3D printing? What was the, what was the tech that you looked at this year at CES and thought, this is this is a lot of hype, and and it's not going anywhere immediately. Yeah, well, I'll back up a little bit on this because hopefully, people who are listening to Market Foolery they also know and perhaps listen to Rule Breaker Investing with Fool co-founder and Supernova Chairman David Gardner. Um, I think in October he had an episode where he was talking. He spent a week talking about um, the hype cycle and kind of looking at you know uh, companies have like the peak of inflated expectations, then they eventually. You know that that's a stage where everyone is enamored with the tech, the trend. Then eventually, reality sets in. It goes into the trough of disillusionment. And and he sort of he gave 3D printing as an example. You know, from a couple of years ago, where at first everyone's like, yeah, we're gonna have a 3D printer in every home. Everyone's gonna be using this because then change everything, every industry. And then eventually it sets in. It's like, no, this is actually a pretty small market. Not a whole lot of realistic applications today, um, especially in the consumer space. And in that episode, he mentioned um, that self-driving cars might be in a, in a similar position, position today that 3D printing was a couple years ago. And after being at CES, that's what I kind of leaned towards. You're toward. saying David was absolutely <laughs> right. Like, and yeah, I can see where he's coming from because it's like, man, it seems like just about every booth, and you know, that's a slight exaggeration, but the vast majority of booths and exhibits there, every company wanted a piece of connected cars, self-driving cars, autonomous vehicles. And you just have to wonder. It's like certainly you can see the world is heading that direction, but it's not going to happen overnight because you have to give people time. You have to give consumers time to buy a new vehicle. That's not going to happen fast. You have to give time for the the technology to improve, for the sensors to improve, to get into enough vehicles where it's actually realistic to have a lot of self driving cars on the road and eliminating car ownership. So. Certainly, yeah, I, I can see the world headed that direction. But man, I mean, every like auto manufacturer there, every sensor company there, the the one thing they con- continuously plugged was somehow their involvement and uh, their connection to connected cars, self driving vehicles, autonomous vehicles. I sort of wonder if you know that self driving cars might be in the same position today that three D printing was a couple years ago. Where certainly there, there's relevant uses for the technology, but I think it's going to be a lot further out than people are anticipating right now. Well, and a week ago today, Jason Moser, Taylor Ruckerman, and I were talking about news from the auto industry. General Motors investing half a billion dollars in Lyft, and one of the things I mentioned was that l- later. In the week at CES, Ford Motor was expected to announce a joint venture with Google, mm-hmm. and those were the reports, and that didn't happen. So at some point, either <laughs> yeah. Google walked away, Ford Motor walked away, maybe they both walked away. But to dovetail on what you were saying, it's 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 not just investors and consumers; it's also clearly companies who are looking at this and saying, "Okay, this is this is maybe a." Uh, a future bet we want to make. Mm-hmm. We want to invest in this, but we, but there's no rush. Yeah, and I think you have to remember companies were doing the same thing with 3D printing a couple of years ago, and that didn't make it a smart decision. Like you have Stratasys and 3D 3D Systems writing off a lot of their acquisitions, essentially admitting one or two years later that they tremendously overpaid for a lot of these different companies that they were snapping up. And I think we have to be careful with. Uh, Getting too enamored with with self driving cars, like certainly I, I I love the technology, I love the direction. It could potentially save a lot of lives and really make the world a much more efficient and better place to be. But you have to you have to keep it in perspective that this is not going to happen within a year or two. This is this is an industry that's in a trend that's going to you know emerge and take place and grab hold over ten plus years. 